up everybody, it's Synth and Shiloh out here at Station 4 of the Hospital Walking Trail. And we're going to demonstrate some different things for you guys. So, let's get started. First station is just a th four, four steps on a little flight of stairs right here. And you can use this for multiple things. They have some stretches listed up here. And they one of the best ones they have is just a hip flexor stretch. And depending on how tall you are, you can use the second third or if you're a giant you can even put on the fourth step I'm just going to put my foot on the second step and lean forward I'm keeping my heel on my back leg flat to the ground this is stretching my calf and my hip flexor and my glute is even getting a little stretch up here in the leg that's bent another one you can do is you can put your heel on it and all you got to do is just drop your hips a little bit and you'll stretch your hamstring it's a really nice stretch if touching your toes is actually difficult for you. So this can give you a little bit of aid while you're doing that. And if you want to get some cardio in right here, I know this isn't a big, huge flight of steps, but you can go up, turn, and back down. If you did that 10 times, you would be able to get a pretty good sweat going. And now Shiloh is going to show, show you a special one for you ladies. All right, ladies, this one is for you. We all want a better bum. We all know that, right? I'm gonna show you an exercise that, that can get you one. So I'm gonna place my left foot back here on this second step, and I'm gonna show you guys a Bulgarian split squat. That sounds intimidating, but it's really not. So basically all that is is a one-legged squat. Okay, so the focus is gonna be on your glute, which is what we want to be toned. So, I'm going to have all my weight in my heel, okay, so when I press through, all the weight's in my heel here. I'm going to use these handles to hold on and balance myself as I go through this exercise. So, I'm going to squat down, press through my heel, okay, and as I get comfortable, I'm going to let go of the handles, and I'm going to continue to squat. It also looks like a lunge. It's very similar to a lunge. And I'm going to do as many as I can until it starts to burn. And then I'm going to switch legs. Okay? So that's a great exercise for you guys to tone your tush. And here we have just some basic squat exercises. You can use the bars for assistance if you need it. You can hold on to them right here and do just a basic back squat. Driving through your heels. And of course, if you don't need the bars, you can just go down and back up. You can also do a split squat, just like Shiloh showed. Hers will be a little bit more difficult because she's getting farther depth. But if you want to work up to that, you can practice your split squat. You can use the handles for assistance if you need it. And then the last one is a lateral squat. You can turn this way or this way, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to squat to one side and then go to the other. I'm just alternating my hands, giving me a little bit of support. And next we'll move over here to the proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation exercises. And basically what this helps is your coordination, hand-eye, and it also helps your body respond. So you can see there's just a mirror in the middle of this board. And when I stand here, all I can see are my feet and my legs. I can't see these buttons down here that are made for us to push with our toes. So I'm staring at the mirror the whole time and I'm going to push these buttons and kick my feet up and down and as I get used to it I can move faster and I can move from top to bottom and alternate. And this will really help your hand eye and your feet get a little faster. Also really really good for people that are rehabbing from lower body injuries. Okay guys, we've got the last two machines at station number four. And they actually look very similar, but they're different. I'm gonna show you how. So this first one is another exercise for your lower back, excuse me, your upper back, and your lats right here under your arms. So this is a lat pull down. So you're just gonna grab onto the handles and pull straight down. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can cross your legs out in front of you, take your feet off the ground and you're pulling your body weight. So a good rep range set number for this would be like three sets of 10 to start with and you can work your way up from there. But we're gonna move over to the next one. Okay, this one is actually
actually a shoulder press. So you're gonna press upwards, and with that exercise, you're working your front deltoid and the side, the lateral part of your deltoid. So you'll grip the handles, the same here. You can cross your feet out in front of you if you want it to be a little bit more challenging. And you're just gonna push straight up. Again, a good place to start with this is three sets of 10 for a good challenging workout, and you can work your way up from there. So that wraps up station number four. We're gonna be back out here again for the last and final station of the walking trails out here at Pleasant Valley. And we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya.